Hey Joy Chasers, I'm Arlette Hardy, blogger and Joy Strategist from Chasing-Joy.com and I am giving you guys a, um, I guess a daily vlog today, not a necessary baby making update, well babies are already made, baby Joy Chaser is here, not a postpartum update. Um, but we are headed to Atlantic City today. This is our first trip. This will be the longest car ride I've done with the baby. So I'm going to kind of vlog through it. Um, but anyway, right now I'm just pumping some milk. It's about 10 a.m. And we're getting started with the day. Hey, man. Say hi to everybody. A smile for everyone. So it's about 11.20 and this guy slept so awesome last night and this morning. And now we're about to get dressed. Say hi. Okay, so it's now 12.28 and I am multitasking. We were supposed to be ready by 12. I'm not ready. But I'm pumping milk again and getting this guy dressed. If I can... Sorry if I can show you. Say hi. Can you see yourself? Can you see yourself? So, yeah. A little bit of multitasking. Pumping milk while I getting while getting him dressed. He likes to grab these cords. Um oh by the way, I got a new breast pump, guys. I got the Spectra. Um, I think the S2, the pink one. Um, I guess he doesn't like me recording him getting dressed. Hey, 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 hey. So, yeah, I got a new breast pump. Um, I think I'm getting a little bit more milk from this pump. But I just, in general, like it better. It's quieter. It's digital, so it's like easier to use um, because I learned that with the breast pump you're supposed to try and imitate um, what, the, what a feeding would be like and uh, imitate getting like a letdown which I don't think I've ever felt a letdown oh shh, shh, shh. Um, but I do like this pump better um, so yeah I hadn't told you guys about that because I think um, I only got it last week so yeah it's not in the most recent update video but anyway so we're pretty much packed um, I got all our toiletries in I pre-made some formula bottles that I have in the refrigerator that can last up to 24 hours and I packed a bunch of empty bottles so let's see I all dressed in my mommy's little man onesie outfit <laughs> so yeah um, hopefully we'll be on the road soon um, I had ordered some shoes from aerosol and they for shipping I picked the four to six a day how about they're giving it's being shipped today and that was only I think I ordered it yesterday or the day before so yeah wasn't planning on that it's supposed to arrive by 2 it's 12 31 now so I'm hoping they arrive before it's time for us to leave so my package isn't outside for like a couple of days so anyway stay tuned so I just want to show y'all this he's crying because his finger he's coming out of his mouth but I want to show you, look how totally unfazed Peanut is. He is so unbothered. <laughs> so I would say the cats are now used to him, definitely. Come on, baby. You can do it.
really pissed off now. <laughs> Molly will pick you up in 20 seconds when pumping is done. You can hang in there. Oh. Yeah. Okay, suck it on me, finger. No. <laughs> Sometimes he likes to calm down if he sucks my finger. Okay, I'm done pumping. Here, mommy comes. Okay, hey guys. Back. This is not the best angle for this camera, but I don't have one of those. Um, I need to get one of those like holders, the clips where you can um, secure your phone like to your dash while you're driving. But we are finally leaving the house. It is. 2 o'clock. We were supposed to be leaving at noon, <laughs> but we finally made it in the car. Um, so I could talk to you guys for a little bit while we were getting started on the drive. Um, so I visited my cousin and my aunt um, last Friday. Um, it'll probably be two Fridays ago from whenever you guys watch this video. Um, cause I doubt I'll get it all, oh, I know I won't, I won't get it all edited and everything till after, um, this weekend and today is Wednesday, but, um, anyway, I visited there two Fridays ago and while I was there, they said, oh, we're going to Atlantic City next week, Wednesday through Friday, you should come with us. So my first instinct was no, we can't go, um, because I was just imagining all the things I would need to bring and just my first instinct was no. Uh, but then I thought about it more while I was still visiting with them and I really do want um, the baby to be used to going places and having like experiences and whatnot and the only way to do that is to do it. And honestly every time I go anywhere new since having a baby my first instinct is no and then when I'm trying it when things don't go how I planned or are a bit more challenging than I thought my second thought is this was a bad idea I shouldn't have I shouldn't have done this um, but then ultimately so far things end up turning out okay and then I'm glad I went so I said you know what I'm just gonna go um, but I've been very anxious about it since. So the things that I've been worried about, one was getting us all packed. So I succeeded in doing that. I think I have everything. The amount of things in this car is ridiculous. You would think we were going away for like a whole week as opposed to just um, two nights and three days. Uh, but I guess technically really, if we were going away for a whole week, it wouldn't be that much more except for more outfits. But um, basically, so I packed outfits for me and him, and then I packed double outfits basically for both of us because I don't know what it's going to be like visiting or going to Atlantic City with my aunt and cousin. I don't know if my aunt will like, offer to watch the baby while we go out and actually do something fun in Atlantic City, or if I'm just going to be chilling in the hotel while they do stuff, you know, with the baby, which would be okay with me. Um, I really don't know how it's going to go, but just in case we were going to do anything at night, I did bring clothes for going out uh, because I wanted to be prepared. Um, and then obviously I have um, double outfits for him because, you know, he's a baby. So obviously he's going to go through some days more than one outfit with like blowouts and stuff like that. Um... Yeah, so then, that, so that's all, it, that's in the suitcase. And then, the sh obviously for me, the shoes that go with the outfits, which I probably could have packed less shoes, but oh well. And then bathing suits for both of us. No, I'm not sure if he's going to really get in the water. I did call the pediatrician and ask their um, permission, I guess, even it's my baby, but <laughs> for him to go in a pool and because he's less than um, six months. Month, or less than three months and I wasn't sure so what the nurse said was um, there's really no thing that says you can't however when baby haven't had all their shots they really want you to be more cautious with like public spaces and there's a public pool so 
you know, they wouldn't really um, recommend it, but they wouldn't say no either. They did say if he does go into the pool, definitely do not let his face get wet. She said, so if I like sat on the steps of the pool and like with him on my lap and let him get a little bit wet, that would be okay. So maybe we'll do that. So I do have a bathing suit for him just in case. I have bathing suits for me because obviously it's a hotel, so there's a pool. Um, and it's like a timeshare hotel. We used to, I used to go with them when I was a kid, and it's the same resort. So I think it's like a whole suite where there's like a kitchen and everything. So that's good because then I can wash bottles. So anyway, in the suitcases, my outfits, his outfits, bathing suits for both of us, shoes for me. Then I put formula in the suitcase and toiletries for both of us in the suitcase. Um, and I put a few um, of the ready-made formula drinks in the bag. Um, and the powder formula is in the bag, also in the suitcase also. Um, sealed or closed. And then like I put in a plastic bag so the powder doesn't like spill if it were to pop open. Um, what else is in so that's all that's in the suitcase then I have obviously my breast pump so that's a bag all by itself the breast pump and the flanges and some bottles to capture the breast milk because I showed you guys I got the new spectra but I'm still as I pump I pour the milk into the Amita little bottles because I have a bunch of those um, so that's a second bag then I have a third bag, which is several bottles that were pre-made um, that can last like through the day um, and possibly through the night mm -hmm. so that it won't be so, um, I won't, won't be so time consuming to make bottles if like we're doing things. Um, Cause I, 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 I guess my other anxiety is I don't know what they plan. Like, this is their little mini vacation. They invited me. So, I really don't want to be, like, a hindrance or, like, slowing them down. So, I want to be able to go with the flow as much as you can with a, a newborn. And I looked it up. He's still technically a newborn until, I think, three months. So, um, so anyway, so I pre-made some bottles. I pre-made some last night. They are good until tonight, midnight, um, as long as you keep them refrigerated. And then um, I have made, just made a couple that should be good for, until tomorrow. So, plus, oh, so then I saw that bag and the distilled water that I used to make the bottles. And that's all in the refrigerated bag with several ice packs. The drive from Philly to Atlantic City is less than two hours. So, it should be fine with keeping cold. And then there should be a refrigerator in the room. And I can put the stuff in the room, in the refrigerator. So then I have, um, oh, and then I also have the diaper bag and the carrier. <laughs> um, so in the diaper bag is um, obviously the backup outfit for today. And oh, and I also have diapers, in, diapers and wipes in the suitcase. Okay, so yeah, that suitcase is jam packed. Um, so yeah, then I have the diaper bag. Inside the diaper bag today is obviously a backup outfit for today and a diaper and a whole bunch of empty bottles so that I can, that are cleaned and sterilized already um, so that I can make, you know, more formula as we go over the next couple of days. I thought about bringing the sterilizer because I'm sure, I'm pretty sure there's a microwave in the room, but then I was like, okay, I just, I can't bring the whole house. <laughs> so some things gonna have to just make do and so if I have to wash some bottles I'll just have to wash them and they won't get sterilized today um, but they should be okay um, what else okay oh and so then the next bag which really isn't a bag necessarily is I'm bringing the boppy and um Oh, and also, sorry, I keep going back. I also have extra blanket, lightweight blankets in the suitcase. Um, and I have his swaddles in the suitcase. And, um, oh, I hope I remember. I think I put the little alarm thing that I, got, I told you guys about for when he does tummy time. 
I mean, not tummy tucks. When he, um, if I let him nap on his tummy, the, the alarm monitor, I believe I put that with his toiletries. Oh, I'm crossing my fingers. Because if he falls asleep and on his tummy, I want him to be able to nap that way. Because he sleeps like four hours that way. Um, though, I have to tell y'all, last night he was amazing. And I prayed before we went to bed. Like, Lord, please let us both get good rest so that I can do this drive and safely. So, I kind of, I didn't rush to put him to bed last night. He went to bed really late. But... He was like kind of napping on and off. I never put him in the bassinet to nap because uh, the one time I did, he like he didn't want to be in there. I think he was kind of warm. We don't have central air. We have like window units, so sometimes it's not as cool as I would like in the house. Um, so I think he was a little too warm in the bassinet. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking about the the bassinet part of the pack and play. So I think he was a little too warm in there, and he was getting fussy. So I ended up. Um, pulling him out and so he just was kind of napping some sometimes on my lap sometime in a little bouncy seat uh, so he didn't sleep much and so then around 11 we went upstairs and we did a bath which he hated <laughs> and so of course he got all um you know he cries through the whole time so it gets like all riled up um for the bath and um so then i I tried to see if he would relax enough, calm down enough to not have to be swaddled, but he wouldn't. So I ended up swaddling him and it took a little while, but he finally, you know, would take, you know, a bottle. And then um, I tried to nurse. He would not nurse. Um, but finally he calmed down, drank the bottle a little bit, fell asleep. And I put him in the bed and it was probably around midnight. I think it was around midnight or just after. And then I went downstairs, finished packing up some stuff, and got in bed, and I went to sleep. And I woke up at after 5, and he had not woken up. And I was like, oh my gosh, did he just sleep? He like 5 hours. It was amazing. And I was looking on the monitor, and it looked like he was awake. You know, like his, I could see his eyes were open, and he was just laying there. And he made a couple cooing noises, you know, like the noises he made, but he wasn't crying. So I said, well, I'm not going to go in there. Um, so he lay there a whole nother like hour, like dozing on and off. Like I would kept, kept, I kept waking back up, checking the monitor because I was getting worried. Like was something wrong with him? Because he never slept that long. And sometimes his eyes would be open and then sometimes his eyes would be closed. So he was like waking up and going back to sleep, waking up and going back to sleep. And he did that all the way until like almost an hour to like I think like 5.40. And I was like so happy because <laughs> I think that's the most continuous sleep I've had in like a couple of weeks. Like five, basically almost five hours. So that's awesome. And then I would, went in and, um, what did we do? Oh, I took him out to swaddle because he was fighting it. And he, you know, he laid there. Then I went and laid back down again. And because he seemed like he was going to be okay still to just lay there, unswaddled. He was calm. And he laid there about 35 minutes and his arms were, were flailing and he started getting upset. So then I re-swaddled him and... Um, gave him some milk and then um, he went back to sleep and so I went back to sleep and I woke up at 10 of 10 and he was still asleep and so oh my gosh this is like amazing uh, I think it took like an hour to get him to sleep so it was probably like around um, almost 7 when he went to sleep so it was like another 3 hours guys so all together I had almost 8 hours of sleep which was like amazing <laughs> Uh, even though I still feel tired right now. Um, I think you just are always tired once you have a baby. Um, or I should say once you get pregnant. Because, you know, you're tired through the whole pregnancy as well. At least I was. Um, yes, it was amazing. So he did so good. He did so good last night. And I don't even know why, I'm telling, why I started telling you that. But um, basically once he got up... Um, I finished packing everything and I kind of kept him up 
because um, I've been trying to put him down after about an hour of wakefulness so he can nap so not get so cranky but I kept him up for the most part until it was time to get in the car so he's asleep now and I'm praying he will sleep through this whole two hour ride that is my prayer um, my prayers were answered last night so I'm hoping that God can answer these as well um, so anyway that's all that's going on um, my anxieties about the trip like I said were basically just um, you know kind of going through the phone not wanting to ruin their trip and you know also being nervous about is he going to sleep you know I hope he sleeps enough doesn't keep them up all night because like they're used to going to bed and not having babies crying but ultimately like I'm saying they did invite me so um you know they know they know it comes with a, a baby in theory at least they probably haven't my aunt hasn't experienced it for like almost 40 years <laughs> uh, so her daughter is my age um and then she her daughter has never experienced it so hopefully this isn't you know too bad for them i did say we definitely come wednesday and if tonight is really really horrible or something then we might just come home tomorrow um to not ruin their whole their whole little three-day getaway um but i'm hoping that it goes okay i'm hoping that it, last night went okay i'm hoping that it goes okay um and i'm also hoping that since um, it'll be three of us. It'll be a little bit of a break for me because two extra hands to like help this out, which will be nice. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's that's all that's going on. What led up to us coming to Atlantic City? My anxiety's over it, and um, we're just gonna see how it goes. And this, oh, this lady behind me is beeping for me to go faster. I'm doing 40 in the 25. Like, how much faster am I supposed to go, right? Crazy. Anyway, um, so that's all for now. We're going to make one stop en route to our destination. That is to Wawa so I can get some money. Um, so maybe I get to gamble. That might be a little fun. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know how it's going to go. I want to have cash just in case and get some gas in Jersey. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for right now, guys. I will continue the vlog throughout our getaway. Keep watching if you're interested. If it gets too long, I'll do a part one and part two. Hey, we're in AC. I'm like, Five minutes from my destination, and baby Joy Chaser slept the whole way. Yay! Okay, yeah, we are here, and our view is awesome. It's beautiful. We're on the 27th floor. Baby Joy Chaser doesn't seem to really notice the view, but at least he's <laughs> looking at the camera. Hanging out with Goalista. You can follow her on Instagram. So we just arrived. <laughs> and now we gotta unpack. I already have the formula in the refrigerator. Priorities. Pumping milk once again.
And baby Joy Chaser is asleep in the travel bassinet. So we'll cross our fingers for overnight. So we're at day two of our getaway. We are in line for breakfast at the hotel restaurant. And baby Joy Chaser is back there being walked around <laughs> so that he doesn't cry he's a little starting to get a little fussy I think it's time for his morning nap but last night went really great he slept from around 11 something to 4 a.m. and then he was up for I think like a couple hours he didn't it took a while to get him to go back down um, but then he went back to sleep until around 10 so that was awesome he did really really good um, so I'm very pleased he didn't really disturb anyone too much. So, fingers crossed for a good day two on our little getaway. Thanks for watching if you're still following along on our vlog. Okay, we are winding down day two of our getaway. We were taking a walk on the boardwalk. We finally made it out here <laughs> after kind of taking it easy most of the day. Baby Joy Chaser is in the stroller, knocked out. We uh, went to the buffet at Tropicana, it was really good. He had a mini meltdown in there, he was real tired. Um, but now he's sleeping, so all is good, all is well. So it's about 10.30, still day two of our getaway. And we are at the valet waiting for the car. I am so tired. Oh, I feel like I haven't felt this tired since I was pregnant. We didn't really do much but walk around. And he was a bit fussy, so I had him in the carrier while we walked on the boardwalk. But I am so tired, guys. Say hi, everybody. Show us your smile. Not your cry. Okay. I said show us One, your smile. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Kick the blanket off. Okay, it is Friday morning. The last morning of our getaway, and somebody is super happy. He did really good. He slept from, I think, a little after midnight to six in the morning. <gasps> what? Yeah, you did good. And he's up about an hour and back to sleep until 10. Great job, bud. So our last day of our outing is off to a good start. <clears throat> okay, we are hitting the road. Our getaway is over. We're headed back to Philly. Baby Joy Chaser is already asleep. I'm crossing my fingers to sleep the whole hour and a half ride. Okay guys, we did it. We are back home. Our getaway is over. I'm so glad to be home. Um, I had a good time, but I've never, um, I've never been sad to come home from anywhere for the most part. So I'm happy to be home. The trip home went great. Baby Joy Chaser stayed asleep the whole way. He's actually still asleep now. Um, obviously the kitties missed us since there's Peanut right there. And let's see, I don't know if I can show you. My house is a mess though, because before we left, all I focused on was preparing for the trip. Um, baby Joy Chaser is there, still sleeping. I imagine he's gonna wake up any moment and I'll take him out of the car seat. And Buttercup was just over there sniffing him. Oh, now she's over here. <laughs> 
checking out our bags, sniffing on everything that we had with us. And Peanut was over here where I was sitting. There's Peanut. Hey, Peanut. So obviously they missed us, but they look good. So they did fine while they were here alone. And overall the trip, I was deeming it a success. Um, the most difficult part was actually today. We went to brunch at um, another black-owned business restaurant. We went to Kelsey and Kim's which is um, the same owners of the Kelsey Supper Club that I've posted from uh, on our first day night of our getaway. So we ended at their other restaurant and he was just so cranky and he was crying, kept crying. So I did actually have to get up and leave the restaurant and I walk around outside for a bit and settle him. So that was the most stressful um, time of our whole trip. But overall he did so good. So, um, at the beginning of this video log, if you guys watched through the whole thing, I talked about some of my anxieties about going away, the long drive, would he freak out, you know, have like a meltdown on a highway, be screaming, um, that did not happen. Would he wake everyone up in the middle of the night? That did happen, but it was only for a short amount of time. And like I said, today he slept till 6 a.m., which was like amazing from around a little after midnight, I think. So that's awesome. Uh, he slept longer there than he has at home. So I think I'm going to actually bring that travel bassinet in the house and because uh, I tend to keep it in the car uh, so that when we visit family or friends, he has a place to lay down. I'm going to bring it in the house tonight and let him sleep in that and see if we can repeat results because right now we've had three days in a row with him sleeping five to six hours straight, which is awesome. Um, but that... The things I was worried about didn't happen. Like I said, each night he did wake up once early in the morning. Um, and one morning he stayed up for about an hour and a half. And today, I, I think it was less than an hour he was up before he went back to sleep. And then he didn't get up until I got up at 10. Um, so, yeah, really awesome. And um, we did not really go out doing too much nightlife. We did go to dinner at night and my aunt gambled a little bit. I mean, my cousin walked the boardwalk. So, yeah, everything worked out really, really great. Um, I do have a little bit more confident, confidence now in taking him away overnight now that I know how to do it. Um, like I said in the beginning, everything that I do with the baby the first time I do it is super stressful. But now that I know how to do it, it hopefully be a little less stressful. But I definitely was a little stressed the whole trip. <laughs> Just being out of my comfort zone. But everything worked out and I still pumped milk and at this um, yesterday I actually pumped a total of nine ounces that he has for today which was awesome so that's like the most I've ever pumped each each day it's been a little bit more uh, so the pumping's going better so I'm still able to pump milk um, didn't lose any supply and then I'm home and we're pumping like crazy today because I don't have anything else to do um, and he was happy most of the time. He woke up so happy this morning. He was like laughing and smiling. Um, so if you guys follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you've seen, especially if you check out my IG stories, you've seen a lot of little behind the scenes of this outing already. So when you watch this, you'll be like, oh yeah, I remember the day she posted that he woke up happy. Um, so overall, the trip was good. And I hope you've enjoyed this vlog a kind of like a day in the life of a single mom by choice on a trip with family um it was definitely both challenging and helpful to be there with family it was challenging because they're not used to him crying so sometimes when he was really upset like overtired and he was crying a lot they i felt kind of were a little freaked out um which then made me feel anxious instead of like you know he's a baby he's gonna cry and they felt like they really quickly, every time he cried, wanted to sh hush him up. Which, on one hand, is nice because obviously baby's crying, you want to soothe the baby. But on the other hand, babies cry sometimes because the only way they can communicate. And if he's upset because, like, I'm tired and we're still out, you know, he's entitled to cry a little bit for that. So I kind of felt like, oh, they're just, like, they're, they're silencing him. I don't know. It's weird. But overall, they were helpful. It was nice to be able to take a shower without rushing I took a long shower yesterday actually shaved and everything um, <laughs> which was nice shaved my legs and everything in there um, 
and both mornings when he woke up I got up with him fed him and then my cousin offered both times to take him so I said hey take him and today I think I actually went back to sleep for a little bit while she was rocking him to sleep so that was nice um, to get a break in those ways but it was stressful a little to be out and doing so much we did uh, compared to what we normally do um, but overall he handled it really well and hopefully things go well our first night back home but anyway this video is super long by now if you watch the whole thing thank you let me know in the comments if you watch the whole thing um maybe you have to break it up and watch it in you know a little bit now a little bit later but i just wanted to give like a day in the life of what it's like um with a baby kind of a newborn he's um was eight weeks yesterday um on a trip a little getaway so hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching bye